So you've just bought a new Cricut bat, but it needs to be prepared correctly to ensure you get the best performance and extend the lifespan of the bat. So what you see here is a natural preparation and this bat needs to be fully prepared before it can be used. Generally, you'll find that the lower quality English willow bats will come pre-prepared to some degree. However, the higher quality English willow bats you'll need to fully prepare yourself. There are a number of steps to prepare a bat and I'll go through that with you right now. You can see here Kookaburra provides a little guide that assists you with the preparation of your bat. And we'll go through the three steps that they recommend. So the first step is oiling the cricket bat. Generally this is done with raw linseed oil and the main purpose of oiling your bat is to maintain moisture levels within the blade. This will reduce the chances of cracking and splitting in the future. Once the oil is dry, you want to move on to the next step, which is applying a sheet of extra tech to the face of the bat. And in addition to this, I'll also recommend applying fiberglass tape to the edges of the bat. Once this is done, the next stage is knocking in your cricket bat. This is done to compress and strengthen the fibers in the wood and to prepare your bat for match use. This process can take a bit of time and you want to gradually increase the force as you continue knocking in. There are a couple key areas you want to focus on when knocking in your bat. That includes both edges, the face of the bat and the toe of the bat. Finally, you want to start using the bat in the nets with an older ball. If you notice any seam marks on the face of the bat, go back to the knocking in process for another hour or so. Repeat this process until there are no further seam marks visible on the face of the bat when being used in the nets. Knocking in your bat correctly is a very important process as it will improve the performance of your bat and also increase the lifespan of your bat. So this particular bat I got prepared professionally. I'll show you what it looks like after being prepared. The first step was oiling the bat. As you can see here, all the exposed wood was oiled. You want to make sure you avoid the stickers and the splice when you're oiling your bat. And you can see the difference here once it's been oiled and the original bat that was not prepared. The next stage was the application of the fiberglass tape to the edges of the bat. This is generally used to reinforce the edges of the bat and minimize general wear and tear. The next step is applying a sheet of extra tech to the face of the bat. This is something that I use on all the bats I've ever owned and I highly recommend applying this to a new bat. Extra tech does not eliminate the need to knock in a bat, but it does improve durability of the bat and minimizes the chances of surface damage to the face. The next step is knocking in the bat. And as you can see here, this bat has been knocked in using a machine and also a hand knocking process. You can note the number of marks on the extra tech sleeve on the face of the bat. Finally, we've applied a bit of shugu to the toe of the bat. Now this is very important for the protection of the toe and to avoid moisture seeping into the bat. You could also use a toe guard in this situation. So there you go, that is the bat preparation process in detail. I do have a Kookaburra Beast limited edition that does need to be prepared. So I'll make another video on that as I go through the process myself.
If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content in the future. Thanks for watching guys, I'll talk to you in the next one.